All right, you guys, welcome back. Schofield Welding. We are here with Weld Tube and South Coast Welding. We're back in Colorado. Uh, we have Robert behind the camera. Guys, we have kind of a messed up fit right here. Now, I think this is going to be a great training purpose. This is a tight side here, wide side here, high, low, everything you guys need to know. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope you learn something off of this one. We'll see you in just a sec. All right, you guys, welcome to the messed up fit. We got this baby tacked up on purpose to make it hard on us, but to also show you guys something that, that not every fit is gonna be perfect for you, all right? So on this side right here, we got us a pretty wide side. It's over an eighth inch wide. Um, usually tie-ins and things like this is usually where you're gonna see this. If you're fitting things like this, you need to cut it apart and do it again, all right? so. Guys, on this one, you're gonna notice a lot of fingernailing with the, with the bead rod. It's gonna start to fingernail. Too many people wanna take their hand away from the fingernail and try to have that arc burn that fingernail off. It doesn't work that way. You take your hand to the fingernail, and if it's still not burning off, put pressure on that bevel, and it's gonna help you run that root in just a little bit better, all right? On this wide side, we're gonna be a little colder. We're gonna be about 91 amps on the machine, which I did check and uh, we might even have to be a little colder than that, all right? So we're gonna start up on our tack, about a half inch above our tack so that we're good and hot, and then we're just gonna start working our way down this bevel. There's gonna be quite a bit of stepping, which is me coming back up to the pet puddle and trying to get it to come down with us. All right, you guys, before we get started into this thing, I gotta make one thing very clear. You can stop on this, all right? It's better to stop than to leave an icicle. So, that being said, there's probably gonna be a little stopping. We don't wanna make it too hot. Let's get started into this thing. Now we're gonna go ahead and start a half inch above the tack. And we wanna make dang sure that that's good and hot. Okay, you see how wide that is? We're stepping. Now it's starting to fingernail to the, to the bevel closest to me, so I'm gonna take my hand over there. Over, over towards the other piece of pipe, away from me. It's really wanting to stick to that piece that's closest to me right now, so I'm going to take my hand just a little farther away from me. There we go. Now we're angling in. Still kind of wanting to hang up on that, on that piece of pipe closest to me. There's a lot of high-low in this. So we're going to take your hand away from you. And, and you want the top of that puddle burning off square. So it's kind of wanting to stick to that piece farther from me. Okay, now we're back to really putting pressure on this piece of pipe over here. Okay. Now guys, not, a, not all the time is that going to go that good, alright? A lot of that's heat, a lot of that is just learning how to control the puddle. It all comes in time. Now we're gonna step a little bit right there. Oop, it didn't want to tie in very good, so instead of fighting it, just stop. There we go. Okay, now I just keep dragging through the puddle, or through the root. All right, there we go. Now we're back in it. Now there's some high-low right there. Now I'm putting pressure on this piece farther from me. Now it's pretty cold right there. We're going to go ahead and turn up. Turn up a little bit. Probably grab a new rod so we can finish this all the way out. Now a lot of high-low in this, so you want... You want to really take your time, make sure that puddle is burning off square. So you can see the fingernail. Probably ought to turn up another five. There we go, now we're cooking. Same concept all the way down.
Okay, guys, she's gonna get wide again right down here. So our wide side, pretty good. Now one thing you gotta really watch out for on your wide side is concaved root. The way to avoid that, turn it down a little bit, all right? So there's a little bit of concave in there we probably have to grind through and fix. Get that over there to where we don't short arm ourselves, and then we're gonna start working on the uh, the tight side. All right, you guys. Hey, there's one thing on these tight sides. It's called softening the landing. Basically, what's happened is you're you're so tight that you can't get a root in there, but you got a landing in there, which the whole purpose of a landing is to hold heat so that it doesn't just blow out and ruin the whole bevel. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind away a bunch of that landing and make it a little thinner so that that root can cut in there and, and, and uh, actually get all the way into the pipe. So that's what we just did. I just ground this a little bit to soften it up and we'll go from there. All right, you guys, we're a one man band right now. So I'm gonna try to run the remote because you really wanna have a lot of uh, a movement you, so, so that when this thing gets real tight, you can start cranking it up. Usually my helper's here, but he's eating breakfast. So let's get after it. We're on 30. 30 on the remote. Now we're gonna really wanna stand that root up, or stand that rod up, which is gonna help it cut in there. Now there is high-low in this piece of pipe. Okay, so this is where we soften that bevel. You can tell it's cutting in there real good. It's kinda of wanting to hang to that piece that's closest to me. We're gonna turn up five right there. Now we're putting a little pressure on that rod. We're not really jamming it in there, but there is some pressure on that rod. We're gonna turn up another five. Okay, so we are coming into a keyhole, so I'm gonna turn down five right there, because those keyholes, they don't really have any landing on them, but Uh, the pipe can kind of control a bunch of the heat on it. Okay, there we go. Okay guys, that's a tight side. Now if, if that was to stay tight like that, all you'd have to do is just take the grinder, soften it again. You'll know when it's too tight is because when your rod's going to start spitting back at you. It's not going in. When you can't hear it going in, or all the fire is on the outside of the pipe, you need to stop grind it, grind where it started spitting back out at you, start above it, run back into it. Simple as that. All right, you guys, hey, we just got done with the root pass. We're going into the hot pass right now. So we got us a wide side, remember that? And uh, basically what's gonna happen is it's thin inside of it, cause it is so wide. It doesn't really wanna stack in there. The root's not really hanging in there. It's just kinda almost flat. So the thing, the trick to it, don't completely clean up the root, all right? You're taking away the metal, which is gonna make it even thinner. So I leave it just a little bit, uh, a little bit of slag, not a lot, but uh, the, the 532 is gonna clean it all up. You're gonna to wanna to run just a little colder on the hot pass, so let's get started. I'll show you how to do that right now. I mean, guys, we're still hot, and if we do pop a hole through this, it's no big deal, but I mean, it's, it's fixable, we can still fix it. But basically what I am doing is I am sticking to the side of the bevels. I'm not really hanging out much in the middle. I'm letting the side of the bevels control the heat. But at the same time, I'm watching that puddle. I'm making sure that I'm eating up all that slag that we left behind. So right now we're on about 150 amps with a 532 or a four millimeter uh, 7010 pop liner series rod. It's a 7P plus. 
which I think if you're gonna run the hippie series of rod this is gonna be the better the better of the two okay well yeah we're still pushing that rood so so the key of the hot pass guy is you are the garbage man and the dude that's got to push the rood in a little bit farther all right you're gonna be behind the bead hands this is your job So you really, you're trying to put a little pressure on that root, but at the same time, you don't want to pop a hole in it, but you want to clean everything up in it. You don't want nothing left alive in that root. But you still want to put in a real good looking hot pass because the guy's coming in behind you if you're running a main line or whatnot. They, they want something smooth to run over, which makes their life easier and makes everybody's life easier. So right here on this tight side of this, we turned the uh, we turned up about 10 amps. Essentially, because the bevels are so much closer, they're taking a lot of the heat out. So you got to be mindful of what that what that piece of pipe is actually doing. That is the uh, high low bad fit up. That's how you can fix stuff like this. All right, you guys, that's it for this piece of pipe. This is the bad fit up. This is the tight side, the wide side. Guys, it's essential you practice a bad fit up. Not everything in the field is gonna be perfect. Guarantee you, all right? So, if you can weld the bad stuff, you can weld the good stuff. Hope everybody enjoyed. Hopefully you guys were able to pick up on a few tips that maybe helped you out, and we'll talk to you here in a bit. Everybody, make sure you subscribe. Schofield Welding, Weld Tube, South Coast Welding Academy. And uh, we appreciate everything you guys do. Be blessed, and we'll see you in a bit.